Greetings everyone and welcome back to Dice Club! Last time, our brave heroes escaped from the brig of Corvus Heath's ship, embarking on a stealth mission to try to decipher what to do next. Through the careful use of some invisibility, they recovered the crystal before finding a strange ringed machine. They put the catalyst inside and it begins floating, rings spinning to reveal a heading. They follow it back to the ship where, among Dr. Robots, they encounter Cyrus. Seizing him, they question him before realizing they don't have time for that, ultimately electing to take him with them. They sail off into the night, Cyrus in tow, undetected by Heath or his men. Let's see where their story takes them next. Venus. Hi. You're on your ship. Uh, you're at the helm again, and it feels right. You feel relieved that you're captaining. It's nice to be at the wheel. You look around you, and there's water completely surrounding your ship. That's interesting, you think to yourself. All this time sailing, you've only ever gone from one port to another along the shoreline. And as you think that to yourself, you notice that there aren't any crewmates around you. There aren't any sails lowered either. The ship isn't moving, and as you realize that, lightning strikes. You're in your quarters, sitting at your desk. You're looking around at the bookshelves lined with books you'll probably never get the time to read. You see scoring on the walls from the fights you've had in here. You see scoring on the door frame, showing how tall he's gotten. Thunder cracks and the window behind you shatters pouring the waves into your chambers and onto your face. And you wake up, drenched, Saradin standing over you with an empty bucket. Uh, wake the fuck up! <laughs> it's around midday, and you've been rowing now for a couple days, actually. Uh, navigation hasn't been all that hard. Uh, the Crystal Compass has been really helpful in keeping you on course, which has been more or less directly <sighs> west. Um, it's been a gamble on whether or not you'd be able to actually make it wherever this cup is taking you, and what little supplies you had on you are close to running out. Uh, the sun has bared down on you almost unceasingly, but the waves haven't really been all that bad. How have the six of you, I guess, fared on on this this boat? What's the what's the general morale? Uh... I think I have a pretty awful sunburn. Because I am ginger. <laughs> oh, God. I guess Venus yeah. is really sleepy. Hot dang. Saradin, at some point, probably gave their little cape cloak to uh, Meadow to keep her from the sun because she is uh, red <laughs> as a lobster in <laughs> skin <laughs> and hair. burning. Those Irish jeans going crazy. Oh, yeah. Fantasy Irish. You don't want to mess with it. <laughs> uh, I, I think a lot of good berry casting... Just to keep, you know, because yeah. the supplies are running low. Yeah. How? Um, what I want to know is how didn't Cyrus food, is doing. I I've yeah. Been, uh, Ren has been um, staring him down and glaring the entire. You've just been. You've been staring like longingly at him. No, 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 no. I'm. Just I'm like... very angry. <laughs> I'm. I'm. St I'm staring daggers into him while I'm like sharpening my own You're dagger. Staring you know. What into him. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Um, alright, uh, I guess we sh we should, I didn't plan on him being here for this, but we should res kind of resolve, resolve that. He's, he's here with you, um, I think that first night that you left, uh, he tried to, like, or you tried to get stuff out of him, but it was, like, late, and you all evidently were tired as well, because you'd been up, I think, for, like, a f almost a full 28 hours at that point, and he mm -hmm. was like, look, let's just get into this tomorrow um and then tomorrow came around and let's i guess 
jump back in time and you can ask your questions of Cyrus here. I think my first question is why are you being so fine with this? Why are you cooperating? I second that question. Mm, I third. I mean, well, in in its simplest terms, uh, there are five of you and one of me. Well, I thought there were three of you, but I guess two of you were invisible. That was that was a a pleasant surprise for for me to figure out there's more of you. Okay. Um, but I'm not exactly uh, I'm not exactly a barbarian myself, so I know I can't take you all and mm. mm-hmm. you know dagger and all that to the throat. That was I do appreciate that. Um, not really bandages sure on the rowboat. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> um, but more so than that, things are, things are kind of odd. Oh yeah, no, we noticed. That's That actually clear. brings me to my second question, my, my first question, but the next one. The what are you is. doing here? Yeah, I was I, wondering this too. Not like well, here as in on our boat, here as in in this dimension, you know? Universe, even. He says, um, well, that's also a difficult question to answer, I guess. It was, I remember Kairos, um, fighting the seven of you, which I imagine Kajuka, um, and Demetrius stayed behind. Yes. Someone has to clean up that mess that you guys made. Yeah. Well, we didn't really make any mess, but that's, well, you, you did ca- of kind messes. of charge into our... Our home, but that's, it, that's the like the metaphorical mess of of your rule. Yeah, that's that's all semantics at this point. Um, okay, oh, yeah. let's sure. Let's not let's not get into that. Um, well, what last I what last I remember is, um, watching the fight go down between you and my father, and he. I don't know exactly what Demetrius did, but that light erupted and. I panicked, leapt into it, and I woke up on <laughs> in the middle of uh, an ocean, and I imagine it. You can imagine that that is quite disorienting to just be someplace else. I don't know how how familiar uh-huh. you are with that. Oh, you don't sensation. know how familiar we are familiar. with that sensation, do yeah. you? Almost about three times. I mean, now? clearly you're mm-hmm. here, so at least some, but um. I wake up, and I'm on a boat, and the first person that I see is, well, is who I assumed was my father. And as time went on, it became overwhelmingly evident that that could not be farther from the truth. Mm. How so? Mm. Well, for starters, he has... I'm sure you've heard it by now, an entirely different name, Corvus Heath. Well, changing your name's easy. He hasn't... He hasn't. It, it's not this... If you say that my father died, I guess my father is dead. Oh, yeah, um, sorry about yeah, we that. We all have dead parents, fuck you. <laughs> he, not all of yikes. us have dead parents. My, I don't think my parents are dead. I feel, I, I'm pretty sure my parents are alive. Okay, I, whatever, people have dead parents. Do you... Mm. Okay, moving on. Well, it's the first I'm hearing about it, I guess, is what I'm saying. But if that is the case, then it is abundantly clear that this is not just him being someone else. This is entirely someone else, although some aspects of him remain the same, such as his visage, his grasp on the... On the world, I'd say he has a shared, uh, a shared vision oh. for himself and his place in whatever world he's in. He's adopted a similar role here that my father did as leader. The of... role of an asshole tyrant, you mean? <laughs> if you want to be f- reductive, well, <laughs> I do yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah, I, I do. Pretty... You know what? I'm feeling pretty reductive. Um, ten, Reductive is my middle name. <laughs> oh, sick. Venus, Venus Reductive. I have an answer for you, Marsh. <laughs> uh, 
it's rain, but okay. Um, <laughs> Whatever. It's the same thing. The direction, really think about di- it. The direction that we're going is it a, is it the same or a similar direction to where Novella was thrown? Can I figure that out from where we were on the um, ship and where we left? I think Novella was thrown like southwest, and you're heading west, but like slightly north, but mainly west. Okay. And and you were on a ship for a while after yeah. she was like thrown as well. So you the position you were heading is like different. Thank you. Yes. Anyway, is there anything else, or are we no? So are we kind of square. Why? I mean, I get that like we outnumber you and everything, but you still seem pretty. I don't know. You, you seem fine with being here. Like you're not angry that we've taken you. No. I feel like yeah. No. There's a surprisingly, a surprising lack of of, of sort of backstabbing, considering that we kidnapped you and then said we killed your dad. <laughs> well, I guess the killing my dad part is part of why I'm being so cooperative with you. <laughs> mm. Let's say, as. I mentioned that uh, they have the same, I guess, Corvus Heath and Kairos have the same proclivities in the way that they govern their particular sanctions of of the world. You can imagine that being the son of said tyrant earns you some benefits. And to Corvus, I, well, I don't have those shared benefits. Ah! So, so you walk up to your uh, tyrant daddy, and you're like, "Hey, can I, can I like be on your team?" And he treats you like he treats the rest of us. And now you're on our side. I see. Well, I wouldn't say I'm exactly on your side. You did hold a knife to his throat. I don't, I don't care. necessarily have many options, and. I mean, kind of a little bitch move to be on his side in the first place, just because he treats you well. If you're, if what you're saying is true, then you have killed him before, and that makes the odds more in your favor. I tend to, I tend to align with the odds. Are you you're saying you're a dirty opportunist? <sighs> this much was obvious, but but fucking our... jello for a spy in this one. Are you saying that you would like us to um, assassinate this universe's version of your dad? Assassinate, depose, murder, whatever, uh, whatever verb you would choose. I'm, I am entirely, entirely unopposed to. See, now this is one of the uh, sanest things you've ever said. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> He he, la- he laughs at that one actually. That laugh was in character. Cyrus, I have another question. I have another answer. <sighs> have you, besides Corvus, Kairos, your father, have you met anyone that matched the the likeness of the person in a, in the previous world, like Demetrius, Kajuka, anyone else? Well, I've been here a couple months. And I really haven't. Wait, no, back up. Corvus has been the. Back the. What's that? You've been here a What's couple up? months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how long have you been? A couple days. days. Like a days. week. Days. Maybe. Yes. Yeah, like a maybe you, a week. Yeah. You jumped into the blue glowing light that emanated from Kairos's body. We slept and then went through the portal. And we were on Novella's ship for a couple. A day? Sorry, Two days? sorry, hold on. The the portal? Oh, don't worry about that. That's um I, I guess I'm I guess I'm not in really joke. a position to be asking the questions yeah, here, no, so you're I'll... not. Also I if I remember correctly, the first time that we met you, we appeared out of thin air and you were like, Oh, you're trespassing, but we walked through a portal and we were like, No, we walked through a portal and you were like, oh, portal? What the fuck's a portal? I bet you feel silly now. Actually, no, this brings up a good point. If you don't, from your perspective, what the fuck is the catalyst? (laughs) That's a good question. I know that it resembles the crystal that was in my father's throne. Mm -hmm. I know that it was my father's absolute prized possession. He treated it... He treated it almost as 
a part of himself. He he cared very deeply about that crystal, Do and he kept know? it. He's he stayed on his throne, and I'm not sure if that was. I'm sure part of it was as he liked to, I guess, wallow in his immense power and and status. But I wonder if part of it wasn't to just be near the crystal. But I don't know anything about what what it is here or why it's here. Those are the only, as far as I know, as far as I've seen, Corvus Heath and the Catalyst are the only two things that this world shares in common with mine. Did your father... Pick- procure the crystal while you were alive or did he have it since since you were born for as long as you can remember he's had it as long as i can remember fascinating and it burns you when you touch it that part i'm not entirely i don't understand i don't know what that's about i know corvus wanted it and it was my charge to procure it and seeing as i was unable to procure it i things didn't go very well for me after that but Mm. i don't understand i could not tell you why were you able to touch it in the old in the last dimension or were you just not allowed to go near it i mean i never tried i was never it was it's i was never permitted to be near the throne near the. did you see kairos ever touch it he stops and he kind of thinks to himself and he says come to think of it i don't i don't think i've ever seen him handle it himself no i don't think i've ever seen anybody handle it Hmm. Uh, Ren sort of like looks at him and squints for a second and then says, would you like to try? (laughs) I mean, it did hurt a lot, but I guess. Okay. Well, the crystal is still in the doohickey. I guess we have that out for... I mean, we have others. Navigating. We have the first one. Yeah. Yeah. You have now three crystals, one of which was inside of the doohickey. Yeah, and it was the original world's crystal that burned everyone. So I assumed <laughs> that any crystal yeah. would do the same. Yeah. Um, Actually, hey, I has, have... I have yeah. the one that burned him in my backpack. And no, I but have, who has the one from Kairos' world? I do. World? I have that one. So I'm going to... I'll pull it out of my bag and just, like, I'm going to hold on to it pretty tight. You so said that... it was the one from Kairos' world that burned him? It wasn't. It was the one from your no, yeah. world that burned him. No, yeah, it was him. the it was one from our world. That's what I said. Yes. Um, I have the one from Kairos' world, so I'm going to take it and hold it tight so that he can't grab it from me just in case, but, like, let so that he can get, like, a finger on it and, like, see. Okay. He extends a finger and he touches it. And nothing happens. Why? Fuck. Did you feel anything? So no pain or anything? Uh, he looks kind of confused. He's like, no, there's not really, there's not really any pain or bur- It felt like a really, really strong burning. And then there's a pit that grew in my stomach of like, the first it time. felt wrong to touch it when I, when I try to grab it. But the first time there's, for the other one. Yeah. For the, the other time. But okay. Wait, Nothing's... can we get out the other crystal too? And, and like, not to like torture you and make you do that again, but like, for, for science to do that. Yeah, for my study. Okay, you take it out, uh, and you hold it up to him, and he puts a finger out, and the same thing happens. Nothing. For the first one. Huh. Okay. Yep. Huh. Huh. Well. Wait. So which one did burn him? Uh, the first original crystal burned him. And, and he, it's not and he just him touched now. it. It's, yeah. He just touched it and nothing happened. Oh. What the fuck? What? Should we... I kind of like huddle everyone together like two feet away from him in the boat. I, <laughs> <laughs> I go. I can plug my ears if you'd like. No. Um. I don't think you do it. I think we tied you up actually. So wait, he. Oh yeah, we did. Did he just touch the crystal that was in the doohickey or no? No. 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 None should of we... you have been able to pass through the what? external should barrier. What should we try? Should we like hold the ball barrier thing and have him touch it? He, we can't, we can't get through the barrier to touch the crystal. But we can like hold. We can. Can we like hold it through the barrier like a ball? Like a yeah. Can we? I guess yeah. you can touch it just the feels barrier like a sphere that you're holding. You can hold the from the barrier, but yeah, he might. If it doesn't burn him, he might be able to. Touch it? Get through I don't it. want him to touch it. <laughs> I don't want him to have it. 
Uh, I mean, hey I guess guys. we could. This is slightly off topic, but also not really. Should we uh, check the uh, tapestry? <gasps> Yes. I mean, what? I don't want to check it in front of him. Game? Like, I really don't want to check it in front of him. But somebody, somebody, like, just blindfold him. Just, just blindfold him. He's tied up. Oh, yeah. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can do that. Duh! Okay. <laughs> I can keep my eyes closed and just I, look off oh, the side of the street. Hey, like, yeah. My guy. I trust, I trust you to do listen. that. Yeah, and I put a piece of cloth <laughs> over his eyes. You can blindfold me if you'd like as well. Oh, Let's... yeah, I bet we can. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a little too okay with this. <laughs> That's okay. what I'm saying. Uh, He's just... like, oh, yeah, I'll touch the pain orb. Oh, yeah, no, why don't you yeah, blindfold me? Yeah, <laughs> you can tie my hands. You can, you can like, strap me down. Yeah, yeah but no, me, I'm heterosexual. You? Fuck you. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to blindfold him. <laughs> yeah, he's. I blindfold him. He's, he's wonderful. Submits. What do we see he's... on the tapestry? Jesus. Um, you see. <laughs> so after you land on the ship, you see uh, a shape of you see a shape of bars and uh, five figures, and then bars again, and then seven figures, and then a like uh, rolled up paper. And then seven figures and a shark and five figures and a uh, lightning strike and five figures and a crystal and six figures and two skulls and six figures and an anchor and six figures and bars and... It kind of splits into like two the way it did, and then on either it's bars, one of them has three, other has two, and mm. then it, uh, there's like, on the top where there's three, there's like, um, it just kind of goes down and conjoins with a key, um, but on the bottom, there's like, there's a spot that looks like there was a thing, but it like, has been, it looks like somebody removed uh the what what would what it be called like what's the word for like the stitching the embroidery yeah, yeah, yeah. like the embroidery of of oh, the shape it, it looks like somebody like it looks like it was taken out and there's like in like the actual fabric of it where it's been like a solid red there are some flecks of like white what? and then what? after that there is a key and then it conjoins with um, the other path, and then there is, um, a crystal, and five figures, and a boat, and six figures, and that's where you are. Is there a, like, that same effect that happened? I assume that's just from, like, the old lady in the rift. Is there a similar one back, like, before, <gasps> representing, like, when we were at, um, the uh, North Helm? The market. Like when we met. Um, them, no, yeah. not the market. The not when the market. Oh. Meadow saw the the rift. Also. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um. You go. You can. You look over where kind of that would have been chronologically, and there's no like, uh, embroidery that's been removed. But you can actually see, on like around one of the castles, there is a little bit of the white. Okay. Interesting. It's very, very subtle. Mm. So, looks like the tapestry knows that this guy's tagging along. Can I that... percept the white spots to see if I can see what it was? Like, I'd go and I can. I'd go investigate. Okay. This is so sad. I have a minus one investigate. Uh, that's a ten. I'm not. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, with a ten, it just looks like it's it's around the same kind of size as the rest of these like mm -hmm. embroidered spots have been and it looks like it was in like gold thread like the other ones have been but mm -hmm. like there's some remnants of it left but there's not enough to tell yeah yeah you, you don't know you don't know the shape of it interesting okay 
Or doesn't show um, anything right now, of course. I'm guessing someone's been rowing this whole time, just like, yeah. while we've been talking. We didn't sure. stop yeah, rowing to... Okay. <laughs> We've been trading you've off. Taken sh- you've taken shifts, yeah. 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 I imagine yeah. we also took Venus shifts. Venus just when we ended were her shift. That's why she was so EP. Yeah, exactly. Real. She fell asleep during her shift? That's crazy. No, after. Uh, oh, okay. Slash okay. So we've established that. I'm going to. I guess we put the tapestry away, probably. Yeah. Um, nice. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <Cool. laughs> um, hey, that's a pretty good thing to do. Yeah. Um, and then I'm gonna just, I don't see any reason to keep him blindfolded, especially with how weird he is, so I just, <laughs> I'm just gonna reach over and, like, take the blindfold off. Uh, he, like, blinks as his eyes adjust to the light, and he says, ah, yes, very good. See, I really want better. to put it back on. <laughs> like, oh, that's better. Oh, thank you for taking the blindfold off. So it's, like, it's really kind of weird. I don't like this guy at all. I'm having, I think, <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun with this guy. He's the worst. <laughs> He's entertaining, at least. Uh, was this flashback? Did we flashback? Are we supposed to flash forward again? Uh, we can flash forward. I think that was just your first, like... That's a good snapshot of your first, like, day rowing. And okay. this is your second day, like... It's about midday now. Flash forward. Ooh, sound effect. Um, nice. And Ten. now it's, like, midday. Uh, Venus, you were, you just woke up from sure Saradin throwing a bucket. I made that character choice for you because I thought it was funny, but yeah. I'm sure you have, yeah. It fits. What are you guys, what have you been, like, up to now, after that, like, interaction? Just being so fucking bored. <laughs> I think Ren is, um, do I have spears? That's actually, let me, yeah, I have a javelin. So I'm, um, trying to kill fish from the boat with my javelin, like, for <laughs> Okay. Food. Um, okay, this is actually, this, is, this scene will be very good, actually. So you are, I want you to roll, uh, roll survival. Fuck yeah. Um, 16. 16, okay, so you're kind of, like, leaning over the edge of the ship, uh, or the boat, and, like, with your spear, um, you've seen, like, a couple, like, fish occasionally, um, kind of, like, at the surface, and you've tried to go for them, uh, and you jab your your spear into or your javelin into the water and you come up with there is a fish that on there and as you're holding it up something uh collides with your boat oh, and God. it starts to rock a little bit and since you're like on the edge make a perception check okay jesus another nat 20 okay yeah oh, nice okay go. okay so you can you can see um, there are a bunch of silhouettes, like larger Fuck. silhouettes underneath the water moving actually in the direction that you're heading. Um, there are, some of them brush up against your, like the bottom of your boat. And with a nat 20, I will say that you can tell that they are definitely spin sharks. Spin sharks? Ooh. Uh, of all kinds of sizes. You see like, Yippee. you see some like fainter like shapes down towards the bottom of it and uh or down lower in the water and some of them look pretty big but they kind of just pass by you and they don't attack your ship they just some of them like run up against it but they keep continuing on in the direction that you're headed okay as long as they're not attacking me i think i'm gonna take the fish that i caught and stop fishing because i don't want to hit them (laughs) um (laughs) Oh, I guess I didn't. Does anyone have like fire magics? I didn't think about how we we're gonna cook this. I could have sword. had fire magic, but sword. I think stab them I on the sword and swing it around. Oh my god, that's so good, <laughs> Venus. Yes. That's amazing. I, I unsheath the sword. That is sick. What, what am I Get doing with sword? Fresh as you grilled piece. As of- you unsheath it, the crystal like grows onto it, and the fire comes back. What do you think fire of that? Sword. Huh, Cyrus? Yeah. What do you think of that? <laughs> I mean, that's. You that's, could, uh, that fish smells pretty that is tasty, really cool. right? I don't, like, that's, uh, it does smell pretty good. Am I gonna be getting any of that, or? You get one we'll berry see. a day, I mean, bitch. if we have some left over. <laughs> you get one berry, berry a day. I think it was a, it was a decent sized fish f- that was fit for five people, but if you tried to spread it with six, it would probably be pretty scant each. 
but yeah no way sorry about it's still it. probably gonna be a little bit scant because it is one fish right but it was it's enough size where you could each get some pre-salted pre-salted um i'm gonna jump forward here a little bit Can and I actually ask about a thing that i want to do okay that could be very interesting or it could not work at all um okay i'm gonna ask uh meadow for the first crystal back um there's something I want to try with it. Yeah, sure. I mean, I'm not using it. Thank you. And so I have a silly little thing um, <laughs> um, called oh Infuse Item. Um, and one of them, hold on one second, is called Replicate. Oh, no, 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 no. One of them is called Homunculus Servant. Prerequisite, a gem or crystal worth at least 100 gold pieces. That's just, you know, that's D&D mechanics and stuff. Okay. You learn intricate methods for magically creating a special homunculus that serves you. The item you infuse serves as the creature's heart around which the creature's body instantly forms. Could I try okay. to make a little a little catalyst freak? A little guy. A little catalyst freak? If you wanna make that's, a little freak about that's around so the silly. catalyst. That's silly! I think I will. Um... It doesn't. Okay. I I don't think I have to roll for it. Hold on. I think I can I can touch a non magical object and imbue it with one of my infusions, turning it into a magic item. Oh, it has to be non magical. Fuck. Yep. All right. God. Then damn absolutely it. not. Fuck. This is very very powerful magic. That would have been really sick. Ha ha ha. All right. Point I have a pebble. I have a pebble. Wait, no. I literally in my inventory. I have. <laughs> I have a cool try. pebble it's... from the cave. I have a cool rock from the cla- castle. I have several I do, unknown I potions. I have a shard That's of nice that you label Wait, where the you... rocks are from. I don't. I just have cool rock written in really big bold letters. <laughs> No clue what that's okay, wait, from. Wait, wait. The prerequisite is that it has to be at least 100 gold pieces. But, Tin, can you let us be silly? Can it be boardy? Can we make boardy? I think, I think, I think value it's subject- is emotional subjective. Value. Yeah. And emotional value is a type of value. I mean, really, right? if, if you own boardy okay. and you wouldn't part with him for 100 gold pieces, then that's what he's worth, you know? Exactly. Okay. If someone held that shard of boardy for ransom... Would you pay 100 gold to get it back? I think I would, honestly. <laughs> well, there you go. That's worth there right there. There you go. All I, right. I know I shouldn't, but I'm, I'm a sentimental bitch. What can I say? So, um, um I take Bordy from Egg, from Brad. <laughs> from who? And I go- Oh, Egg is there. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, oh, it's just an egg. I'm in the um, game. And I go, um, thank you. Is there a specific animal or, like, creature- that you want this to be turned into. Awesome. Board. What are the options, I guess? Make him a big boar. Um, a boar. Like a sick wolf. Oh, shit, boar. That's kind of a banger. Thank you, thank you. But also, um, he'd be sort of like a, a dope alpha wolf type. That would be, yeah. Oh, I can make it into a <laughs> Like a really cool board? edgy one. Wolf boar. Wait, that's better. Wolf board. Okay. They, the, the description boar. does say that I can... I determine the appearance. Some artificers prefer, like, mechanical-looking birds, whereas oh. some, like, winged vials or miniature animate cauldrons. Okay, so wait, 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 wait. Is it flying? Does... It can just be boardy with wings. It could. <laughs> I could make little mechanical wings that go around it. That's adorable, actually. Okay. Um, so I go, thank you. Um... And I am going to scroll back to the infused item <laughs> page. Um, it, Bordy doesn't need attunement, does does it? Nope. Oh, no. Cool. no, it's a piece of wood. It's a piece of wood. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. So I. It's basically like um. Whenever you make, whenever you like create something in like Animal Crossing or whatever, and there's like a bunch of hammering and dust and tinkering and shit. And Marsh kind of does that on one side of the boat, and I imbue it. And it's literally just a board with a, like a, a metal strap around it with little metal wings. And it just flies around the boat. But it's <laughs> that is incredible. <laughs> How long does this last? Um, until I die. Or two big major character deaths. So, oh, this um, is so good. Oh, that's there the are, best there are caveats answer to this that you've ever given. Yes, there's a couple caveats. 
Your infusion Can remains an be? item indefinitely, but when you die, <laughs> the infusion vanishes after a number of days have passed equal to your intelligence modifier. Minimum of one day. The van- the infusion also vanishes if you give up your knowledge on the infusion for another one. So I can only do two infusions at a time. So if I- this is like the glowing haunch. If I do a third one, Bordy goes back to Bordy. Bordy loses flight. Okay. That's fine. I have a couple other ones that are fun. Okay. So you've got a- so you've just got a pet now. We've you've just got, got a kind of little, be- yeah. a little pet. Like, oh it's my our God. mascot. I think, I think. What is back, you guys? The second that Bordy becomes animated, I'm like, ah! I, 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 I don't run over him to him because this is a boat, but I'm like. <laughs> no, you can do that. I can use my third level spell slots to let you run it on the water. You can run a boat. <laughs> you, I you like jump play, on I play boat with, and I, like I play with cast. Bordy. I give him little scratches on the head. Does he have googly eyes? I feel like he should have googly eyes. Can there's he have little, eyes? There's tiny little metal googly eyes that Marsh made. Yes! He's like, That's if he's awesome. Size, if he's like the size of a chocolate bar, the googly eyes are like on the front of the chocolate bar, you know? Like on the mm-hmm. little yeah. part at the front. Like where eyes would go. Oh, wait, yeah. cute. And then there's there's a like a metallic strap around it that has the wings on it. Like a money That's clip. adorable. Yeah. That's great. It's All right. literally just a flying Can Bordy be this episode board. art? I think that would okay. be a good episode art. That works. Art. It can be like um, Marsh on one end and uh, Ren on the other. Like, oh, Bordy flying. Bordy. That's good. And that took 10 minutes. I'm so sorry. That's great. What about it? No, that's, that's good. That's some good stuff that I didn't have a plan for that 10 minutes. So um, we're going to jump forward a little bit. Uh You've been rowing, and I guess you've probably changed shift once or twice over the next, uh, let's say, like, five hours you've been rowing. Um, just kind of playing with uh, Bordy, I guess. Uh, it is late afternoon. Uh, the sun is uh, kind of in the sky, like, right up ahead of you. Uh, and you hear it before you see it. Oh, God. Uh, the telltale sound of water moving, or rather, water <sighs> falling uh as you row your boat closer to the sound directly ahead of you which according to the compass is exactly where you're headed to uh you see it uh it looks like a there's a portion of the ocean in a circle that just kind of stops um but as you get closer (gasps) as you get closer you can see that that kind of isn't really the case it just like the ocean just sinks for about half a mile around you can see uh this circle has lowered down about 300 feet and you're around the edge of it now uh and water is kind of cascading down at a steep drop not like it's flowing over a cliff just like the ocean goes and then it doesn't anymore and the water's moving down uh the water on the surface is calm right up until the edge of it and you're at the edge now and you see something kind of incredible uh below you is a coral reef (gasps) Uh, you see shades of red green purple blue and yellow coral all completely in the open air but they appear to be doing well and being alive and around the around the stalks of coral you can see a plethora of fish living and interacting uh swimming through the open air uh and in the center of this uh this giant uh interwoven mountain of coral you see coral and gold intertwined the archway Ah! holy shit that's so cool oh my god holy shit Hey everybody, it's Tin, and I'm back with some show notes. Free of charge, just for you. I want to give a super quick shout out to Dax Ayrton on Reddit, that is D-A-X-A-Y-R-T-O-N. He's great, check his stuff out, it's awesome. Uh, thank you for listening, uh, I doubt you're listening today, but if you are, uh, Happy New Year! This marks another year of, uh, I think this is the two year, two? However many, it marks another year of Dice Club, and that's that's awesome. We've done so many 
bigger and better things this year than we did in the last year and i am so excited to see uh for you to see what we've got in store for this next year including the next episode which is very very exciting and the one after that which i'm maybe more excited about than any creative endeavor that i've ever been a part of so stay tuned for that we're doing an episode every week this month which is going to be very tough on our part so if you'd like to return some of that love maybe tell a friend about the show if you want to talk about the show online you can use the hashtag uh, the dice cast uh, and if you want to find where we are online you can go to our uh, you can find all our links at linktr.ee dot ee slash dice club podcast uh, this year has been amazing and uh, next year will be even better so thank you for everything the next episode will be out on january 8th i think if it's a if it's a day or two late uh some of these might be but i'm really gonna try to make that not the case so see you january 8th enjoy the rest of the show also see in the kind of wall of water that's going around those same silhouettes of the spin sharks from before uh they're kind of just circling around this sinkhole uh the wall of which drops down about 300 feet uh what are you doing what the I fuck have... <laughs> i have a question i have an answer is does the boat with all of us on it weigh more than 500 pounds? Six folks and a boat. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'd say it does. Okay. You should all be possum-sized. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mark is like It would make everything so a lot easier. You actually. know, if Cyrus wasn't there, then maybe, but... Yeah, no, I doubt that's true, guy. still. <laughs> Bro's got a lot of muscle mass, I'm sure. Um. Anybody got, like, a feather fall spell? <laughs> Uh, I have no. jump and levitate, also <laughs> feather fall, but well. I only have two spell slots left. First level. Didn't we? Didn't we? Didn't we just spend? I mean, there, there's, there's been a days long rest on a boat. since. Okay. Yeah. I forgot you've got, when I used you've, them. you've all got full health and full uh, spell slots. I can okay, great. stab a shark with a javelin. I don't know. Well, let's not stop How, stabbing any sharks before any us? shark starts trying to eat us. You know? Yeah. There we don't are need to six engage. Of you, yes. We don't need to initiate combat with the sharks. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, it's choose up to five fallen creatures within range. Okay. <laughs> Fuck Cyrus. He can fall and, like, get. <laughs> Well, Dad. no, just don't cast it on me, and I'll go down with someone else. Oh, that's true. Uh, they'll fall a little bit quicker, maybe. <laughs> <Does it? laughs> yeah, I don't um, know. <laughs> I say, uh, okay, do we want to do that? Jump off the boat, and I'll cast Featherfall? There is also, like, oh, at the bottom, there's, like, a moat of water kind of around uh, where the like Minecraft sea floor physics. starts and the thing. Do we, we, do do we have a plan for... Um, getting back into the boat should that be necessary? Well, I mean, I don't. Yeah, think we so. But we this, can send this, the boat down uh, when we go. Because like, now we're just dipping, right? <laughs> but like, if we can't, uh, better start climbing. Let's cast it. We'll push the boat over and see what happens when it goes down, and then we'll feather fall. Uh, yeah, I guess we just fuck around and find out. That's fine. Sure, it, uh, we've been no, around this, the block there's enough. There's no possible way that this could backfire. We'll no, have no. feather fall, okay? Yeah, but the boat won't. The boat will not feather fall. Yeah, but that's fine. Not if we need a boat. For what? For floating. But <laughs> it's dry down there. Yes, down there. It is, it is indeed. Down there it's dry. And yes. then there's the it's archway. It's literally the first a, dry there's place. There's a moat down there. Of water. <laughs> yeah, but like... Just Literally a moat the first of water. Oh, the rest of it. I've seen. I can't see it. We could land on the coral. 
in the this yeah, that's like, what I'm saying. dimension. Okay. That's what so I'm saying is that. we'll jump and land on the coral and then we'll push the boat down and see what happens. Great. Okay. The coral is about 2,000 feet. What? Two thousand like feet, feet is uh, ahead of you. Because two thousand feet would be like a mile. No, no, no. Two thousand feet is not a mile, Birdie. A mile is fifty-two eighty. Okay. Why the fuck then are you just like like this? Wide Switch the... to metric. Okay. You, you said I that. So I readjust. Okay, I readjusted. I readjusted, and I said a thousand. <laughs> Sue me. I got the number wrong. Okay, I'm sorry that I was misled by. <laughs> someone <laughs> if yeah from where we're standing if we jump and cast featherfall can we like like air swim our way over to the coral as we're falling uh it does seem really far <laughs> it does seem how really long far. does featherfall last one minute <laughs> oh here's here's okay but i can here's cast fun... it again as a reaction <laughs> yeah what here's if we fun... just jump and then like a minute from the ground, you turn on Featherfall. No, there's nothing. It's Do you think feet. that the jump is originally going to take more than a minute? <laughs> no. This is not Matilda. It'll, with Featherfall, it'll probably take less than a minute still to get down. Like, we're not, feet is we're high, not but falling it's not that out of a fucking, high. like, plane. Like. <laughs> okay, what if... We all have feather fall cast on us, and then when we jump, we hold onto the boat, so then we'll go a little bit slower. <laughs> sure, let's do that. This is so stupid. Let's see if this is. This is what are you talking team, about? We don't even know what we're doing. So, so we're taking the boat with us? Sorry, hold on, hold on. Well, yeah, we're just, hold, like, on we're... hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I want one person. I want one wrong. person to. Step by step, this for me, just real quick. <laughs> do you want me to repeat what I said? Yes, I do. Yeah, Bertie, it's all on you. I said, yeah. well, Marsh will cast Feather Fall on us mm-hmm. so that you know we fall okay. slowly, yes. and then as we're all falling, we just also all hold on to the boat so that it goes down with us, and maybe we'll go a little bit fast, but <laughs> maybe a bit slower too. <laughs> Okay, well, what's the goal of this? Why do we want the boat down there? Because it's like because a thousand there's the, feet away there's water. to get to the land. Because there's water apparently. and the coral. The water, the water is not the that. Coral. The water is not that wide. It's like well, it's like okay. a moat. Well, then around, it's like it's like maybe twenty yeah. feet of water. Okay, just... wait. So then, was I right in the first place? That there's not there's ma- it's mainly dry down there. Mm-hmm. Then why did you say it with the coral was a thousand feet away? Because that's where the like that's where the, like, the mountain is. I don't know. That's on me. I'm sorry, you guys. So it's okay, yeah, so it miscommunication is. here. Ocean floor. <laughs> it's like ocean, ocean floor, floor and then, and ma- then, then coral, coral mountain. mountain. That was my yeah. Oh, okay. So my so just doing feather fall will be fine then. Should be okay. Should okay, like well, distance I'm glad wise, we I guess. Yeah. Great job, team. Distance wise, okay. Um, I still think we should push the boat down over the edge to see what happens when we go. Push it over the edge, and then it's gonna like shatter in a bajillion pieces. Thank you. Well, and That's then what your I was going to say. I think if we the push boat? the boat over there, we break the boat. <laughs> maybe I'm thinking maybe it'll flow down the side. Like gravity will get weird, but I don't want to test that on us. And then it'll crash. But like, and sideways. then it'll flow into the. You you ask why we need the boat, and then you get mad when I say something that might hurt the boat. <laughs> Tell no, me, I have a question. I, I think I did not ask why we need the boat. I've been on this boat for three days. At this, I don't care if it's broken. <laughs> At yeah, this point, we have other ways we can get like out. what d- Meadow. I love you so much, and I'm sorry I'm yelling at you, but I'm just I've been in the hot sun for three days, and there hasn't been a single tree at all. Do you have an idea to make the boat survive at all? No, I, d- I don't know what to do about the boat. I just think that it would be bad if we were at the bottom of the ocean and then something happened and we drowned. <laughs> I mean, I think the only way is to just make, just push the boat over the edge. Unless you want to go with my idea, we all hold on to it while we do better. Why can't we just let the boat just do whatever it wants on the surface while we're down there? Because if what what we're thinking is if the archway doesn't work and then we're stuck there, we find a way up and then the boat is maybe like a little bit over there and I can swim pretty well. And I'm really strong, I can, so I, I can, can carry a boat. I can walk on water. It's just that I'm not on the water. I'm below the water. 
<laughs> you know, like, I don't know how that would work if I God. start on the bottom of the seafloor. <laughs> because I can't walk up the wall. I'm not Spider-Man. <laughs> you just shoot straight up real quick. <laughs> like Minecraft. All the time while they're kind of, like, arguing about this, um, Marsh has been hard at work creating a little creature. And I go, okay, we're doing this. Um, and I toss up a little mechanical uh, bird, a oh, like a little magpie made out of like gears and shit, and goes. <laughs> okay. And then Marsh jumps, and um, the bird um, kind of like exploding, not exploding, but like shattering into pieces of light, casts feather fall on me. Um, and everyone else when they jump and in. who else? <laughs> well, okay. couldn't, couldn't you only do five there people? There is one person who I'm, won't be I, affected. I volunteer to not yes. have feather fall. Someone just. I'm holding on to Saradin, I guess. Okay. <laughs> What's Cyrus's opinion on all this? Hey, Cyrus, how's it going? You ready to jump? Cyrus you ready to jump doesn't down a get hole? an opinion. He is a prisoner. I think we Cyrus, should just not cast fa- feather fall on Cyrus. How you feel about that? <laughs> no, we already. Sarah Marsh is going down. <laughs> you just hear Marsh like Cyrus no. has no opinion about his impending death. No, come he on, does, guys, let's he go. Can, I mean, I would does, like he, f- fuck his opinion. Presumably, I would like to not <laughs> die. Too bad I push him over the edge. That would be pretty. Well, cool. Sarah, <laughs> Sarah did okay, already well, agreed to not have feather fall. On him. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm pushing him over the edge. <laughs> really? Okay. Hell. He all right. He falls off. Uh, just kind of flailing, but <laughs> falling very slowly. Actually, Marsh, as you, um, as you're falling, you've, like, felt the effects of Featherfall before, and it does seem like the Featherfall is definitely working, but it seems like it's working maybe a little bit better than it usually does. Like, you're falling slower than Featherfall typically Can allows for. I do an Arcana check on that? Because that's silly to me? Sure. You and your Arcana checks... Yeah, go for it. Arcana checks. Oh, you. Um, 16. Thank God for my plus 6 to Arcana. Okay, you... With a 16, you can tell that whatever magic is affecting this kind of area has... And is letting the fish swim kind of just in the open air is maybe also affecting the gravity a little bit. And gravity was maybe lessened. Okay. Which would affect your... Yes. uh, Feather fall, but... In a positive way, where you're just falling way slow okay. instead of Well, if we're like slow. 30 feet up and this spell ends, that's not going to be positive. But maybe we'll, we'll still fall slow because of the gravity. <laughs> yeah. um, maybe old Serdin's well, ideas were I mean, too shabby then. Mm. Even, okay. even so, the fall has been significantly shortened. <laughs> Venus right, does a cannon jumps. and just holds it and the whole way down. As we right, go, I'm... Isn't... I'm gonna try to drag Excellent. the boat so that it also goes over the edge. Too. I hope it crashes and like kills you. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <Does> it... <laughs> okay. I hope that doesn't happen. Personally, uh, you will jump off the edge and you're falling very slowly. Um, not like very slowly, but very slowly. And the boat goes off the edge faster than you all, but also slower than what gravity should should do to it hmm. and curious uh, curious there <laughs> although as you push it down it uh manages to sail past the water portion and it does hit the ground and it does shatter wow. for fuck's sake wow. <laughs> well it doesn't sh- okay it doesn't shatter but it does splinter in a and way it does that not would gain make it enough composure to, to hold water the yeah yeah yes but you all land safely on the ground uh, the floor of this ocean and the, uh, this mountain of coral is ahead of you. I'm, Start I'm walking. gonna crawl up that, yeah, yeah mountain of coral, man. Maybe Sick. catch a fish out of the air. <laughs> Are you trying to catch a fish out of the air? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to catch a fish out of the air. You right. trying to catch a fish out of the air? Shut up, I shut up. I respect it. I don't. What, do you want me to roll something for that? No, you just uh, do it. roll... Roll slide a hand. Slide a hand. Okay. 19 plus 322. Let's go. You, you snag a fish out of the air and it kind of squirms in your hand a little bit. And it's very, very slippery. But with a 22, I think you managed to gain a hold on it. Although it is trying very hard to get out of your hands. 
Anybody want to fish? Sarah, what? that's so cool just... what you just did. Oh, my God. That was crazy. Did, did everybody else see that? Oh, my God. Good job, bud. I eat it. <laughs> oh. What, live? <laughs> you just bite into alive. it? Alive. That's insane. Raw? Alive? Gollum style, bro. <laughs> that's... No, obviously, okay. Gollum style. That was the first thing I thought, but, like... Bro, the second yeah. thing you thought was that's it. insane. I don't know. Yes. <laughs> I thought like Gollum, and then I thought, well, that's insane. Okay, well, I do I'm this all the time as a kid. Can I, can I take my javelin and stab a fish from the wall of water? Uh, it's not from the wall of water. There's just like fish kind of swimming around the air around you, actually. Oh. This is all happening as we're walking towards the mountain of coral. In yeah? which yes. case, okay. I, can I just sort of grab one? Yeah, you can just grab one. Roll sled hand. Jokes on you. I'm so so. so I got fucking nat twenty. What the fuck? <laughs> Yo, yeah. you get you made it. You put out your hand and you get two. You grab two of these guys. Marsh, um, like illustrates illustrates Ren in their notebook as like one of the like fish guys that you see on Tinder, like holding up the <laughs> huge fish. <Yes. laughs> Let's go, dude. You get that two picture. really big ones, one in either hand. Just holding them up loud and proud. This is yes. right by the mouth. This is really weird that I thought of this, but I feel like you could get like a lot of babes with that picture. <laughs> I agree. I'm just like sort of peak masculinity if you think about it. Cyrus is blushing. No. <laughs> is <It's... laughs> what the fuck? Wait, sorry. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I just had to process what you said. What is Meadow doing? All the what babes. is Meadow doing? Uh... <laughs> Meadow is approaching this in less of a hunting way and more of a Disney princess way. She's like, this is, I'm living my mermaid dream. Oh, yeah. Um, True. She's just vibing, you know, just walking up to fishes and being like, fucking look at this. It's like I'm underwater, but I'm not because there's no water. But like, it's like if I was a mermaid, it wouldn't be like there was water because like, it's like air to mermaids. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry. Meadow's living her her princess dreams, and then in the background, we're just killing and eating fish. <laughs> yes. yes. I mean, Meadow isn't, like, opposed morally to people fishing. She's just <laughs> vibing right now, because it's cool. Um, I'm taking, as, as we're walking, I'm taking, like, little, like, samples of, like, fish and rocks and things um, to, to, to keep with me for research. Hey, Tin, I have a question. Okay. I have an answer. Wait, before before your question, I need to know, you just you have like a jar with this just like floating fish just in it? Me? Please, just, like, around. please, yeah. please, yes. <laughs> I want to know yeah. what happens when you leave. Okay, all right. Oh, I yeah. think I know okay. what happens when we leave. Marsh? Unfortunately. Marsh? Yeah, all right. <laughs> Marsh has like, doesn't eat fish, ha- hasn't really like encountered fish a lot before. Um, and just like, <laughs> like gets the jar, captures a fish. It just kind of puts like some moss and like sticks in there. And it's like, that's oh, what no. they eat, right? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> excellent, 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 excellent. I want this. This is what the show is about now. I want you to, at some point, look into fish and decide what kind of fish you got and name it and have it and keep it. This is the most important thing that's ever happened in this campaign and thank you thank you for this gift. Okay. Ren, what was your question? Bordy is also with um, us. Um my question was oh, are Bordy, yeah. How would I forget about Bordy? Yeah, do do these fish look like the same types of fish we have in our world? And by uh, our world yeah, I don't like... mean the, the the human world of us, I mean, you know. Are there only, know like, fish much, fish, like, or are there other sea creatures? Uh, there's, like, other kinds of sea creatures. Like what? You can see some, like, you see a couple turtles uh, no. swimming around. There's, like, different kinds of sea life, like, uh, anemones and various polyps mm-hmm. on the Do we have like, any actual uh, as cephalopods? I just say there, you, you spy a cephalopod. Hell yeah. Out of the corner of your eye. Hell yeah. I'm not going to do anything but... with that information. I'm just psyched about it. Yeah. Psyched. All right. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It looks it looks majestic swimming through the air. Um, but there are kind of the same types of fish that you would see in your home world. Interesting. I don't know how much Ren knows about fish, but 
They don't Ren's look all around. that like new and different to you. Ren loves I wish that I had a cephalopod that could swim through the air. Not even not meadow. This is out of character. <laughs> One day. No. One day. Someday. No, I don't <laughs> think so. That's a that's a, <laughs> that's a coward way of talking. That's my ideal pet. Keep dreaming. Just just an air octopus. Don't let the good life pass you by. Arctopus. Just put a flying no. squirrel in a little like Macy's <laughs> costume. costume. <laughs> well, what? <laughs> Anyways, uh, you guys are approaching <laughs> flying the, squirrel. Uh, there are so many things that fly. I'm moving past it. Like, moving past it. You are approaching the Coral Mountain now, and it doesn't look like there's any like defined path upward or um like trail that you could follow up and you'd have to like climb up and past and uh coral is very sharp so you'd also have to worry about that but uh that is that is what it looks like oh shit i don't have oh well i'm an expert climber so i would like to climb it (laughs) venus believes that she's an expert climber who knows if she is? I have climbed <laughs> I guess we'll find out. before, so... This should be a survival role. <laughs> I don't think so! <laughs> if you're Why? bad enough, it's it will be. sharp rocks. I'm climbing sharp rocks. You're not- it's not you trying to survive the rocks. <laughs> but, like, it's my not knowledge not of surviving and having rock climbed in the past. That is not what survives. Coral is, it is not a rock. It's athletics is climbing. It would be athletics. See, my athletics stat is higher than my survival stat. I was just trying so to why add did flavors. You... Okay. Fuck you. How- how high <laughs> okay. is this? Okay. This is, it's like, a hundred feet. Three hundred feet up? The mountain? Uh, it's a couple hundred feet up. Great. Yeah. Uh, can I roll? It doesn't athletics. pass over the top of the like edge of the water, but okay. uh, it is still very, very high up. Okay. Can I also roll? Yeah, everybody roll. Uh, Ren- everybody who's climbing is. Is that everybody? Ren got a 21. Yeah. Six. Freaking of course you did. I got Six. a I got 17. What are, we, what are we adding? 10. Athletics? Athletics. Great. I have a plus zero. <laughs> Me too. Cyrus got a nat one. <laughs> <laughs> he's still tied up, so he just he falls still over. Tied up. Yeah, he's still tied up, and he's trying to he's trying to get up, but he like takes us a, a step and he falls backwards on his face. <laughs> Back- he falls backwards, backwards. spins face. around in his face. Oh. He fall- yeah, he falls backwards and he, tur- he turns he midair twists. and falls on his face. <laughs> can I try to like the opposite him of a while cat. I'm climbing? What is that, Venus? <laughs> Can I try to carry him while I'm climbing? Uh, you're gonna have a disadvantage, but if you want to do that, you can. Like Princess okay. Bride. So what am I rolling? Uh, make a strength check to see if you can get up, and then an advantage, or see if you can pick him up and hold him, and then make a athletics check with disadvantage. Okay, well, I just rolled athletics, and I got a 17, so roll it again. Mm-hmm. Two more times. That's also what I got for mine. Just one more. Just one more? Because that's your, that was your first I got another athletics. 17. Oh, good. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Now roll strength to see if you can even pick him up. We did it a little bit out of order, but that's okay. <laughs> okay. Strength. Is this is no, it's not a saving throw. It's a normal strength. No. Yeah. I know D and D. That's a thirteen. Yeah, you do. Thirteen. Okay. Um, I'd say you do, and you can make it up uh or you can climb the coral, but uh slower than Others would. Cool. Me and you, um, Cyrus. In, in it for life seas. For life seas. Um, okay. So you guys are kind of climbing up this. Am I? Uh, I rolled a six. You you can. You're you're kind of like trailing behind Venus. I'm not going to make you not be able to. Because uh. <laughs> that would be bad radio. But uh, you're climbing up. You're behind everybody else. But everybody else was able to. Um and this is so embarrassing. How about everybody make a dexterity saving throw for me? I would love to make a dexterity. Yay. Natural Yikes. 20. Yikes. Nat 20, let's go. Why don't, you, why don't we ever do intelligence saving throws? I could be so good at that. Uh, 18. Um, eventually. We should do 19 oh, plus 6, 25. Zam. I got a 4. All right. Fucking dexterous little possum. Okay. <laughs> me and you, four, Marsh. 4, 3, and then everybody else saves. Mm-hmm. I like Being super you, safe Venus. though. I saved so hard. <laughs> okay. Um, it's the bitches with bad Cyrus eyesight. did not save. Okay. Well, Give me one moment. Well, this is Cyrus is having a bad time. 
That's too many dice. <laughs> yeah, that's several. Dear God, he's still oh, going. Oh, it just keeps going. Okay, so everybody who's saved take 11 points of bludgeoning damage. Why would you Ooh. do that to us? And everybody else take 22. 22? That's half, more than Damn. half my hit points. How was that more than half? No, that's all. Have, that also would be I'm more so than I'm so sorry. Half I forgot that I was I have 40. one of the tankier <laughs> like, yeah. characters. I, I also that's have 40. Insane. I have 22? 71. Ow. 22. Oh, I <laughs> have 71 hit points and y'all are weak as fuck. Okay. 71? Uh, that's fuck up. insane. Okay. Yes. So you all take that damage as the, I think I rolled too many dice. Yeah, um, I'd say maybe, so. you think? Uh, my bad. I rolled the wrong amount of dice. Oh, Everybody, hell yeah. just take half of what you actually took. Oh, sick! Great. My bad. So, so wait, how much? Everybody that didn't save. Yeah. Um, so take six and eleven. You guys take six. Okay. We take eleven. I think that's twenty-nine. All right. Forty minus eleven. Yes. Yeah. I have a calculator. Yep. Isn't that nice? Oh. That's very nice. Calculations. Now, now graph the curve of your that's what I was HP. Saying. Um, okay, so you take, you all take that damage as the reef above you shatters into pieces oh, cool. as a cannonball sails into the side Fuck. of the mountain, oh. uh, sending pieces of it flying at you. Uh, Cyrus is looking up at the ledge and he says, it's, it's the salvation. And when you look up to see where the can of fire came from, up at the top of the ocean ledge, you see Corvus Heath's ship. It's called uh, the salvation? the edge. Uh, oh. you now know it's called the Salvation, uh, starboard side to the edge, another cannonball headed your way, uh, make another dexterity saving throw, uh, when you have advantage. Fuck, Pretty yeah. sure I failed that one. I just got I a dirty 20. A two. 18. A two. <laughs> I also got a dirty 20. 18. Who rolled really well? So 18, dirty 20. Six. Two. Six. <laughs> Gabs, what'd you get? Dirty 20. All right. Um, okay. Clean that thing off. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Funny D&D joke for all of you guys out there. <laughs> Comedy podcast. <laughs> Anybody ha, heard ha, of this ha, stuff? <laughs> ha, ha, ha. So Venus and Saradin and Ren take six damage and everybody else take 12. Ooh. Meta, you cannot die again. I swear to Christ. Hey, uh, I have, I still have more than half my HP left. It's, okay, I don't. Good. Another, <laughs> another cannonball sails into uh, the reef near you and shatters, uh, sending pieces hitting you. Uh, and as you look back up at the salvation, it has turned to face you. Uh, and now it is sailing over the edge of the water. Uh, huh? It doesn't look like it's falling. Fuck. It is just sailing downwards. And from your vantage point, you can see crew members loading cannons and I knew preparing it. to fire again. Just then, you hear a crash of water, and from out of the side please, of the water wall, please, please, you please, see please, 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 please. the despair. Yeah! Prepared and in one piece. Cracks yes! and tears, sealed Yo. and amended by brilliant white light. Woo! You can see spectral white forms manning the ship, and at the helm you see Novella. Yes! Also cracked with white light, her eyes glowing with that same brilliance. Oh my she looks God. at you, and you see one light flicker as she winks, before the des despair Woo! collides with the salvation. 